Happy day seven of gratitude. Let's start on our mat. You can sit sideways if you can see me okay. Sit in a comfortable seat. I'm gonna do half lotus. Um, you can also just lay your, your foot on top of your other opposite knee. So one foot is under, the other is over. Back is straight. <clears throat> Hands on your knees, close your eyes for a moment, and take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more big breath in. Exhale. Arms overhead. And let's twist it to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Take a breath. Come back through center, arms overhead. Bring it over to the left. Twist it and look over your left shoulder. Take a breath. And up through center, bending from your hips. See if you can come forward. Place your elbows on the mat and take a breath. Walk it back up. Let's come into a straddle position. <clears throat> it shouldn't hurt, it should not be a strain. Um, just a small, slight stretch. Feet are flexed, knees are towards the sky. Sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in. And exhale over to the right. Arm is over your ear. <clears throat> Take a few breaths. And come back through center. Breathe in. Exhale over to the left. Arm is over your ear and take a breath. Come back through center. <clears throat> See if you can walk it forward onto your elbows and take a breath. Take one more breath. Perfect, walk it back up. <clears throat> Go ahead and meet me at the top of the mat in forward fold. Grab your two big toes, wrap those fingers around. And from there, as you're breathing, bring your elbows out to the sides and pull your face towards your knees. I have a slight bend in my knee. Take a deep breath. Let it all out. From here, bring your chest up, kind of like, um, like a halfway and then bring it back in. Breathe and roll it up slowly. Exhaling. Breathe in, arms overhead. And exhale, swan dive down. Oh, hi, Zoe. How are you doing? Halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Fingertips to the mat. <laughs> Watch out, Bubba. Watch out. And bring your right, your right foot back <laughs> into a lunge. Pop up on those fingertips. Open that chest up. Place your uh, right hand next to your left foot. Open up. Zoe, move. Zoe, come on. <laughs> You're killing me, dog. Come on. Watch out. Zoe, come lay down. Come on. Zoe, I love you, but you're ruining my video. No. <sighs> uh, okay, open up and switch. <laughs> 
look up towards the sky and take three breaths on your own. And lower your back knee, pop up on your fingers, and see if you can grab your heel and bring it towards your booty. Take a breath. Lower it down. Curl those toes under and come back to a plank. Knees come down. Chest, then your chin. And open up. Upward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale. Come into your first downward dog. Walk it out for a moment, breathing on your own. You can breathe in, suspend those knees, and then exhale, stretch those heels to the mat. One more time. Suspend those knees, and stretch those heels towards the mat. From here, I'm going to come down to my knees this time. We're going to come into puppy posture. So I'm going to flatten my feet and then I'm going to slowly bring my chest and chin towards the mat. And I'm breathing. Forehead can also come to the mat. Make sure you're breathing on your own. From here, bring your elbows <coughs> right underneath your shoulders. So you're kind of like in a tabletop position, but on your shoulders. I mean, on your elbows. <laughs> Thank God you guys love me, I swear. So you're on your elbows, elbows are under your shoulders, and you're going to lift up your feet into a downward dog position. And this is what you call dolphin pose. The goal is to eventually get your heels towards the ground. As you can see, mine are nowhere near. Take three breaths. Perfect, lower it down. And meet me in downward dog. Breathing on your own, walk it out for a moment. From here, take a deep breath in, exhale, right leg into three-legged dog, bring it through the center, step it up, pop up on those fingertips for a moment, open that chest, find your grounding, place your left hand next to your right foot and open up into a twist, looking up towards the sky. Three breaths on your own. And from here, frame your foot, drop that back knee, pop up onto your fingertips, and bring that back leg up. See if you can stretch it close to your booty. And take a breath. Lower it down. Come back into a plank. And let's do our first chaturanga, where you can also modify by bringing your knees down. I'm gonna take a deep breath. As I exhale, hug elbows into the sides. And open your chest up into upward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Curl your toes under. Exhale to downward dog. Walk it out just a moment. <clears throat> Left leg, three-legged dog. Breathe in. Exhale. Touch that left knee to left elbow. 
for a breath. Bring it over to the right. Take a breath. Back to the left. Take a breath. One more time. Right. Breath. Bring it on up. And you're going to step it through. Lower that back leg down. Take a deep breath in. Arms over your head. Exhale. I'm going to breathe. Bring my belly towards my knee. And as I exhale, I'm going to open up those arms again. So I'm breathing in. And then I'm exhaling to round open. Do that a couple times on your own. One more. And fingertips come to the ground. Let's go ahead and stretch it back into runner's lunge for a moment. back to plank. From here, let's do another puppy posture. Knees come down. Bring your chest and chin towards the mat. You can also touch your forehead to the mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more breath in. Exhale. And meet me in Downward Dog. Walk it out for a moment. Breathing on your own. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Right leg into three-legged dog. Breathe in again. Exhale. Touch that right knee to right elbow. Take a breath. Right knee to left elbow, take a breath. Right knee to right elbow, take a breath. One more time, take a breath. And three-legged dog, breathe in. Exhale, bring it through, step it up. Hello again. I just, I can't. I can't. If it's not the dog's ass in your face, it's the airplanes. Okay, great. All right, so I lowered my back knee. We're in crescent lunge. Bring your arms overhead. So I'm going to breathe in, belly to knee, and then I'm gonna exhale, open up. Do a few on your own. One more. Fingertips to the mat. <clears throat> Come into a plank. Let's do a chaturanga or modify. Deep breath in. Come forward, exhale. Upward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale, downward dog. Slowly walk the front of the mat, roll through those feet, and make it fluid. Come into forward fold. Let your head hang heavy for a moment. Grab your elbows, sway it side to side. Breathe in, exhaling. Breathe in, exhaling, and take a deep breath in. As you roll up, exhale, and open those shoulders. Stand up nice and tall. 
Let me come back because the sun's in my eyes. <clears throat> yep, still in my eyes. Okay, hands to heart. All four corners of my left foot are evenly on the mat. I'm standing up nice and tall, shoulders down, away from my ears. I'm going to take a deep breath in. And I'm going to lift as I exhale my right leg up. From here, I'm going to grab the outside of my right foot while I wobble. I'm going to take one more breath in, and then I'm going to exhale that leg out. Woo! And I'm going to fall. That's okay. We're going to try again, right? Don't let it defeat you. Just keep going. Try it again. Find your focus. Breathe. And lower it down. See, the second time I didn't get frustrated, I didn't get upset. I knew that I needed to focus better, and I did it. <clears throat> Let's try the other side. Stand up nice and tall. Oh. Stand up nice and tall. Shoulders away from your ears. Stomach core is tight. You want that. You want to engage. Engage that core. Especially in balanced postures. My right foot is evenly on the mat. I'm lifting my left leg. Grabbing the outside of that foot. I'm going to take a deep breath in. Find my focus. And exhale. And lower it down. As you see, my leg was not straight out. I had a bend in my knee. It's fine. You get where, you know, you'll get there eventually. Don't push it. Let it happen organically. Take a deep breath in. Arms overhead, exhale, swan dive down, breathe in, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, fingertips to the mat, right leg comes back, left leg comes back, knees come down, come back into puppy posture, take a deep breath in, exhale, Come on to your belly. <clears throat> From here, oh, you know what? Bring your arms out in front. We're going to do opposite arm up and opposite leg up. So I'm going to take a deep breath in. And I'm going to exhale my right arm up and my left, left leg up. Take a breath. Lower it down. Let's do the other side. Breathe in, exhale, lift it up. Take a breath, lower it down. Now we're gonna do opposites, kind of like we're paddling. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Lower it down. It's not the most pretty thing but it's effective. Hands come all underneath your shoulders. Turl, oh my God. Curl your toes under. Make your way to downward dog. How am I ever going to be a professional? <clears throat> I'm never going to be. If I ever have a yoga studio, it's going to be like, like tipsy yoga, like wine and craziness and fun. I can never be serious enough to have a serious yoga studio, <laughs> but it sure will be fun. All right, take a deep breath in, exhale, right leg, three-legged dog, bring it through, come down into pigeon pose. From here, see if you can open your chest up breath in, exhale, 
maybe you bring your hands behind your back and open your chest, breathing. And come down onto your elbows, stretch all the way down to your forehead. Take three breaths. Rise back up, lift that back leg, grab it with your left hand, and take a breath. One more, because that feels really good. Lower it down. From here, <clears throat> I'm going to curl my toes under and come straight into three-legged dog and lower it down walk it out take a deep breath in exhale left leg up breathe in come through come into pigeon pose exhale from here, pop up on your fingertips, open that chest, take a breath. There's another airplane. From here, see if you can bring your hands behind your back. If not, keep them on the mat. If you can, open that chest to the sky and take a breath. Release. Walk it forward, forehead to the mat. Take three breaths. And walk it back up. Lift your back leg, grab, and bring it towards your booty. Take two breaths. And release. From here, I'm going to curl my toes under. Hands come to the mat. And I'm going to come straight back into three-legged dog. Bring it down. Walk it out for a moment. Suspend those knees. Breathe in. One more breath in, exhale, right leg, three-legged dog, come in through the center, I'm going to turn my back foot, and I'm going to bring that leg out, take a breath, you can also keep your toe on the ground, see if you can cross that leg over, and maybe bend. Bring your belly towards your knees, bend it, and three-legged dog, bring it down. Walk it out. Ugh. Now my dog's gonna bark, really. Come here, Zoe. All right, take a deep breath in. Exhale, left leg, three-legged dog. Bring it in through the center, turn your back foot, kick that leg out, breathe in, cross it over, exhale, bend it down, straighten that leg, turn your back foot, breathe in, exhale, belly to knee, 
Legs still crossed. Breathe in, straighten that leg. Exhale, three-legged dog. Bring it down. Walk it out. Down to your knees. Swing them around. <clears throat> Let's come into both. Bring your legs up parallel with the sky. Tighten your core. Open your chest. See if you can let go. Take three breaths. See if you can straighten one leg. Bring it in. Then the other. it in. Whew. That's not easy, is it? From here, lay flat back, legs come up, bring your legs down all the way. Take a breath, and then we're going to scissor, but up and down. So my legs aren't going all the way up, it's a small movement and you wanna breathe. Lower it down, stretch all the way out. And take a breath. Hands come to the mat. <clears throat> Left leg comes in. Grab behind your leg, straighten it towards the sky. Right leg is on the mat, foot's flexed. See if you can bring your knee to your nose. Breathe in. Exhale. One more breath in. Exhale. Lower down. From here, see if you can bring your left leg out. Don't let it touch the ground. Hold it there for a moment. Breathe in. Exhale. Bring it back up. Grab the back of your leg again. Stretch it towards your face, and then lower it down. Ugh, my dog is gonna drive me nuts. I knew I shouldn't have let her out here, because I knew she was gonna do this. Hold on, let me let her in. I'll be right back. Hold, please. Was a workout running okay sorry you can always expect excitement okay lowering down let's do the other side right leg comes in towards chest straighten it grab behind that thigh breathe in exhale knee to nose one more breath exhale lower it down I'm gonna hold this leg so I know it stays on the mat and I'm going to bring that leg over to the right without letting it touch the ground. Take a breath. And bring it back through, grab behind. Stretch it towards your face one more time, breathing. And lower it down. 
bring your feet up towards the sky. Really? Really? I can't. This is just comical at this point. If you guys have stuck it out this long, bless you. Bless your hearts. Okay. From here, hands behind your head. Use your thumbs extended to support. So they're extended down, supporting my neck. My elbows are out wide. Feet are up. Tailbone is off the mat. And we're just going to slowly pulse Stretch it out. <sighs> All right, let's try our best to do a corpse pose. Try to ignore all the noises around. Get nice and cozy in whatever position you choose. <sighs> I want you to close your eyes, shut your mind off, drown out the noise around you, and just concentrate on your breath. I'll let you know when to come up. Starting now. your fingers and toes. You can turn to one side and slowly get up that way. Or if you want to rock and roll your way up, let's do that now. I'm going to do three. Into a seated position. And I'm actually going to face you guys. Sit in a nice, comfortable seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes, hands on your knees facing up. I want you to think of something you're grateful for today. And for me, that's my body. I'm grateful for everything it's been able to do for me, everything it does for me on a daily basis. It's strength, the magic that it creates. Um, yeah, and it's kept me alive, so I am so grateful to my body. Um, I'd also like you to think of something that you love about yourself, physically, internally, mentally, whatever. It does not have to be physical. And think of a few reasons why you love that about yourself. It's just to get familiar with you, get to know you, because when we know ourselves, we love ourselves. At least that's the goal, right? And lastly, set an intention for today. Something small, something not so small that you want to tackle, that you want to get to. And like I always say, if you don't get to it today, you can get to it tomorrow. All right, sit up nice and tall, hands to heart. Take a deep breath in. Hold it at the top. Let it all out. One more deep breath in. 
hold it at the top and let it all out thank you guys so much for practicing with me today I appreciate each and every one of you so much and namaste y'all thanks for putting up with my hot mess express self I love you guys Stay peaceful.